rules for image formation. These are the rules which are useful to find the location of image. Sir, why we have to need rules? Actually, any image is formed due to the point of intersection of number of reflected rays. Number of reflected rays means there is no limit. There are so many rays will meet at that point. That means all the reflected rays will meet that point or passing through that point. Then why we need some rules? At least, if any two rays are passing through the point, means the rest of the rays must and should pass through that point. That's why we will take some rays which are useful for us. We will make them to pass through one point. We will identify, we'll trace the rays, uh, them, where they are meeting. Then we can say that that is the image of the object. Then what are the rules we have to say? See, the rule is, the first rule is the ray parallel to principal axis. Here, this is the ray parallel to principal axis after reflection passes through a focus. Now, here, this is the ray which is parallel to principal axis. After reflection, it passes through focus. After reflection, it appears to pass through focus. This is one of the ray we will use for image tracing. And everyone should remember these rays formation you have to by heart. You should not forget that statement. Now, second one reversibility. Suppose if any ray is passing through focus, after what happens? What happens? It reflects and it becomes parallel to principal axis. That means here in case of convex mirror, what happens? It appears to pass through focus. Then after reflection, it becomes parallel to principal axis. After reflection, it becomes parallel to principal axis. Now, listen. Suppose if any ray, third one, if any ray passing through center of convergence, see here. Uh, this is the ray which is passing through center of curvature. This is the ray which is passing through set curvature, right line. Then green one is the reflected ray from the mirror which is passing through center of curvature. Retraces its path. That is called retracing the path. Whatever the path is following, the same path reflected ray will pass. That is called path retracing. Suppose in case of a convex mirror, the green line is the incident ray which appears to pass through focus. Before passing to focus, it falls in the mirror. That's why it gets reflected and moves in the retraces path, blue one. Now, last one is, if any ray strikes the pole, is reflected symmetrically back in the opposite direction. Let's see here. If a ray is striking the pole of the mirror here, this is pole. Now, pole means the principal axis itself is the normal. The principal axis itself is the normal. Since it's perpendicular to mirror, since it's passing through C means it becomes normal. As we know, angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. That's why it reflected symmetrically. As angle of incidence, I here also I. That's why the ray reflected symmetrically in the both the situation you can see. These are rules for image formation. These are the rays we have used to form the image. How the image is formed in case of concave mirror. See, diagrams drawing is difficult on this board on the device. That's why I'm using the pics, then simply understand, and the only doubt is there asking. This is. Now see here, we will go for concave mirror. And in concave mirror, if object is located at infinity, where the image is formed. The image is real. If the object is located at infinity, in case of concave mirror, inverted, very small, and at F. Now see here, if the object is located there, Therefore, this was the image. Whatever I'm drawing on board, that is the image. And uh, it is formed at focus. That means in the focal plane. Focal plane means it is a plane perpendicular to principal axis and lies focus. And focus lies on that plane. Now here, these are parallel rays. This indicates that these rays are parallel means this indicates that they are coming from infinity. These are the parallel rays which are coming from infinity. You can see here, this is the ray which is passing through focus. That's why it's reflected parallel to principal axis. And this is first ray. Now, second ray is passing through center of curvature. That's why it's retraced. And these two points are meeting here. That is called image. This is called image. That means it is the image formed by first mirror, concave mirror, when the object is located at infinity. This property everyone has to remember. If the object is located at infinity, then image will be formed at focus or in focal plane. And the image is real, inverted, very small. Now, coming closer. That means if you are coming from infinity, 
and also lies between center of curvature if the object lies between o and c now see here the ray which is parallel to principal axis what happens after reflection passes through focus this is the ray ray now the ray which is passing through center of curvature will retrace its path now these two rays are meeting here therefore it is the image which is formed this is the rays image formed now you can see here the image is once again reinverted it is formed and also is forming due to converging rays that's why real and if you compare with object size it was diminishing and where it is lying between means f and c it is lying between f and c now if you are coming for the next position if the object is located at c if the object is located at c then where the image is formed once again at c if the object is located at c image also forms at c now what are the rays we are using once again same the ray which is parallel to principal axis after reflection passes through focus the ray which strikes at pole and gets reflected symmetrically these two are meeting here and if you see the height of object and height of image is same that's why both are of same size real inverted and forms at c now coming closure next coming closure means it lies between f and c it is lying between f and c if the object is lying between f and c then once again we are using the ray parallel to principal axis after reflection passes through focus the ray which is passing through focus afterwards become parallel these two are meeting here these two are meeting here and beyond c and also it is formed due to converging rays this were real inverted and when we compared with object size it was enlarged now if you come to the next one if it focus then obviously it will form at infinity they are becoming parallel here the rays are becoming parallel the last one is very very important here in the last situation object is lying between f and p whenever object is lying between f and p we can say that the ray parallel to principal axis after reflection passes through focus the ray strikes at pole gets symmetrically and if we extend the reflected rays and they are forming the image and you can say that here it is not formed due to converging rays it is formed due to diverging rays that means virtual and also erect enlarged is formed it's very very important form that means when the object lies between pole and focus then the image is virtual erect and enlarged will be formed now when we come across to convex mirror there is no real image is formed now here only which image is formed virtual suppose if the object is at infinity then what happens the rays are parallel the rays are parallel and this is the ray we are assuming it's passing through c it will gets reflected and it is assuming that passing through focus then image is parallel here that means the image is forming at focus that means the ray which is parallel to principal axis here therefore if the object is at infinity then image will be formed at focus virtual and this one now if you place any position in front of the mirror the image is always formed between pole and focus in front of the mirror if you place a object in front of the mirror this is the ray parallel to principal axis after reflection it passes through focus this is the ray which strikes at pole gets reflected symmetrically if you extend you will get it here then here also virtual erect and diminish between p and f then how to identify i now will ask a simple question these results anyway you have to draw and you have to remember and you have to remember the results but one common thing i have to discuss here one point how to identify it is a convex mirror or concave mirror if the image is virtual very simple logic in case of concave mirror virtual image is enlarged in case of concave mirror note down this point in case of concave mirror virtual image is enlarged in case of convex mirror virtual image is diminished that means smaller in size this is the difference we have to identify even though convex and concave are forming the virtual image we can identify convex or concave by the image size if the image size is large that is a concave mirror if virtual image size is large we can say as a concave mirror and if it is a small that is called if virtual image size is small that is called convex mirror 
in coming section we'll discuss numericals